The brand new Presage Exotic Mission for the Dead Man's Tale is now available in-game, so here's a guide for how to solo flawless it for those of you who want the triumph or just want tips to get the Dead Man's Tale completely solo. Coming up. There's no light here. To start off, I'm going to assume you know the path, or at least can figure out the path up until the main parts where I'm going to talk about. The loadout I used was Heritage slash Succession with a Seraph SMG and Xenophage. I also had Global Reach, Wrath of Rasputin, Rage of the Warmind, Protective Light, and Swift Charge. You can change this up, but this is an amazing setup and the build I use in most in-game activities. During these first few rooms, just take it slow and don't let the Screeb get you. Feel free to use your Xenophage ammo or whatever heavy you have to quickly get rid of any and all adds. The first main challenge will be the Trash Compactor room. Activate the lever, then focus on the Screeb. Take them out as fast as possible. Typically two waves will spawn and then you can search for three glowing fuses in the floor. Shoot them, then jump down the hole. When you get to the Halo inspired room, stay towards the back and take care of everything besides the abominations. Once everything is killed, start on one of the abominations. Adds will soon spawn, so make sure you back up or else you may get surrounded fast. Also don't underestimate the abominations. Those things hit hard with their arc attacks, so if you get hit, make sure you stay behind cover. Continue this process until both abominations are dead. As you get to the boss room, try to damage the boss enough to send him to the bottom floor immediately. Adds will spawn up top. Use Warmind Cells to clear the room quickly. Stay aware of Screebs, they will chase you behind cover. When you clear all the adds, you'll have to interact with three panels. One on each side, and one in the fire room in the middle. Interact with the two easy ones, and save the fire room for last. The reason for this is because the fire turns off after you activate the final one. If you don't leave that one for last, you'll just barely survive even if you're quick. Jump down on either of the far sides to start damaging the boss. You want to use a sniper for this to keep your distance. If he starts to do his burning maul type attack, jump out and run to the other side. After each wave of enemies spawn, whether it be top or bottom floor, make sure you're clearing them as fast as possible. You'll be fine as long as you keep the adds down and slowly chip away at the boss. Make sure after you deal a third of his health to jump out, or else the bottom room will catch on fire and you'll have to activate the panels again on top. Eventually, you'll finish off the boss. Make sure you stay alive and don't break your ankles on the way to the final room. Once you get here, go ahead and claim your dead man's tail and you'll get the solo flawless triumph. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like, share it with all your friends, and subscribe to stay up to date with all my other Destiny 2 guides in the future. Thank you all for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.